Okay everyone, so we're going to get into the interesting part where we start specking out some of the drive components. Uh, these are purchase parts. Um, I like to use McMaster Car because they um, have SOLIDWORKS models on them um, most of the time. And so what's nice about that is that you can anticipate for design challenges before you even get the part. Um, whereas a lot of times if you just get a part without knowing what it's going to look like. Uh, there's going to be some rework that's going to need to be done and even though McMaster cart isn't cheap it will save design time on the floor. So we're going to start by opening this weldment back up. So the flow is from here to over here, and we're going to use some type of a conveyor chain. It's probably going to be a polymer. So here's McMaster Car, McMasterCar.com. Conveyor chain. Conveyor belting and lacing. Okay, so here we go. Here's series 820, 821. Um, let's see a. Seven half inch wide. So we'll end up adjusting more than likely. Let's do a twenty one. Let's see. So twelve inches, about ten inches. Okay. So I'm thinking we'll probably go with this eight twenty one. Product detail. Oh, this is convenient. They actually have a model of this. So it's for A21. if they have product detail. There may or may not be a CAD drawing. Okay, actually there is. This is really surprising. They've gotten really good. So 821 series. So you just spec our diameter. Actually no we don't. So 6.07 for the 821. So, I don't see an A21 idler. We might have to go with something else instead. I don't really understand why there's no idler for the A21.
So what we'll do... We're gonna... Okay, so we're gonna have to delete these. We're going to go with the 820, 7 and a half. I didn't need to delete this, but I did. So we'll re download this. Okay, so we want a one inch shaft diameter. So 6.06 .06 is the outside diameter. Okay, so we're going to download that. Okay, so one shaft in there. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to create an assembly. So this is actually going to be somewhat of a placeholder for right now, and you'll understand this as we move forward. So insert, no sorry, view, I'm really picky about this, like to hide all types. So we go, I thought I had insert part, let me see, tools. Okay, insert new part. Let's see if I is taken. Okay, let's do control I. I don't really like this, I'm going to overwrite it. Okay, so I'm just going to make it I. I like that. It's really simple and I use this a lot, so sometimes it's important. Okay, so cancel. The downloads, so I'm going to copy these over. I can delete this. I was going to use that to actually make the party needed. Okay, so I'm going to browse. 
just going to put these all in and see what happens. Okay. So this is the part that is going to be on the top. So mate, so it's control, and I'm overriding it because I feel like it's important. I'm just going to slide this over here. Um, I'm actually not going to do a proper mate on this because I'm thinking I might actually make an amendment to the sheet metal to make a lead in for the sprockets. I'm not sure what that's going to look like. So, okay. Okay, so this is the sprocket. Um, we can make a shaft. So, obviously that's the idler. Okay, so that's what the chain's going to look like. of this. I'm going to mate it to the top of that. Let's see if that's oriented right. Looks like it. So another mate I'm going to do. I'm going to. No, we can't do that. And I want to do a parallel mate. So let's see if I can do another mate. No, I'm not going to do this one right now.
basically I'm going to need to make this frame less wide. And so we can say this would be the end feed, so that means the drive sprocket's going to go over here. And the idle sprocket's going to go over here. So I'm going to go back to the specs of this chain and see what we're using. So we're using six three seven. Okay. Twenty seven and a half. So it should be about seven and a half. see it's 15. Okay, so it's going to be an issue. So I'm going to address that in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.